Ladies and gentlemen, I am here with boxing great Malik Scott. What an honor. He is here training at his favorite boxing facility here at Powerhouse Gym, training with Jesse Reed. Malik, you've got a huge fight coming up. Tell us a little bit about what, uh, what you're doing. Uh, well, I'm putting in overtime as far as my training is concerned. I'm fighting a kid named Bowie Tupo on the Andre Ward, Chad Dawson on the card. Me and my manager, Marcus Coates and Jesse, we've really been putting a lot of extra overtime in when it comes to our training. We didn't pay the price, we didn't suffer, we didn't deal with the pain, the agony, even the defeat at times in training. And, and I believe that the day that you're tired of suffering in this, in this sport is the day that you need to retire. I'm here with the man, Malik Scott, his manager, MC, in the house. MC, I know this is hopefully going to be 35-0 and 0 going into his match against Bowie. Yeah. MC, your thoughts about this upcoming confrontation, September 8th? Well, we in incredible shape, and um, we looking sharp as ever, and we come to do work September 8th, so... We're going to be 35 and 0 after this fight. The thing is, man, we're ready to die in the ring. So if he's not ready to die in the ring, he shouldn't show up. Because we're ready to go all in and go all out. You know, like I say, the training camp has been wonderful. We've been working hard, staying focused. And one goal is in mind. That's become the heavyweight, the next heavyweight champion of the world. Here's the trainer, the man himself, Jesse Reed. He's trained them all, he's fought them all. Jesse, what kind of secret ingredients are you putting into the Malik training camp right now? I don't think I'm putting a secret ingredients. I do think that Malik is a complete fighter, especially extremely fast, uh, like Muhammad Ali. Tremendous intelligence in the game. He's uh, been doing this since he was 13 years old. This is nothing new to him. But what this is is something that Malik has set his goals to, to go all the way to the top. And I, and I see that happening in the next year.